Yeah, still can't get over this uh, big staff bag. $10. Yeah. Found some good stuff today. <laughs> Perfect cut. Are you guys recording? Yeah, we have a little YouTube channel. We go to pawn shops and buy like all. All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are headed into the flea market. Always looking for golf clubs or anything else cool that we can find, but never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Also, we just got done filming our 80,000 yes. subscriber special. That was a ton of fun, so yeah, we had a yeah, big giveaway in there, so go check out that video. Still have a little bit of time to uh, enter. Probably announce the winner next week, but let's see what we can find at the flea market today. Nike Sasquatch, sumo driver. Mm -hmm. Worst sounding driver, but these things are super forgiving. You can literally swing as hard as you possibly can and it'll yeah, still as long go. As your ears can take it. Yeah, <laughs> earplugs and you're good to go. 40 bucks on that. Face looks okay. Mm -hmm. Headlock cover looks okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the best you can do on this is? I'm sorry. Do you know what the best you can do on this is? 30. 30? Cool, I can do that. Yeah, I eBayed that. They're over, it's a, over $100. For this, yeah, so. thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a nice day. You too, right? thank you. You got any golf clubs this week? I left all of those. Okay. I have um, a whole bunch of units I have to clean out. So. All right. Cool. Yeah, I was on the truck. I never bring those things. Have a good one. See you. No golf clubs. <laughs> He always talks about the other flea market that we go to. People get there at 4.30 in the morning when the vendors are allowed to go in and they literally follow him in mm -hmm. and as soon as he opens the back of his truck, people are like, jump yeah, the truck. they jump on the truck. He's like, man, it takes me like three hours to set everything up because I had to worry about people stealing stuff out of the back of my truck. God, we funny. live a little bit like away from that, so we have to like stay overnight somewhere. That's still yeah. a little... It's too early for me. 4.30 is my limit. I love flea markets, but 4.30 <laughs> is a little bit too early for me. Plus, we couldn't film because it's dark. Yeah, exactly. We have to bring flashlights. Like our whole lighting crew. <laughs> Check these out. It's like a old uh, like bar uh, merchandise thing. Display. Display, yeah. There you go. It's too, too early for English. <laughs> How much is the Miller Lite thing? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. I'll do that. That thing's cool. <laughs> And believe it or not, it's been aired up for about six months. Oh, really? So it, it's huh. definitely holding air pretty good. Yeah. We saw one the other, or a while ago at a uh, bar. It was a, one of the inflatable ones, but it was a crankbait, like the fishing thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, I got a lot of the blow up stuff oh, at cool. my place in Edgewater. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Do you go to the Oak Hill flea market? I don't, but we got a flea market in Edgewater. Oh, really? Huh, I didn't know that. Awesome. Thank you. We'll yeah. check that one out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of blow up stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely some interesting stuff this time. Yeah. There's a lot of vendors, but I haven't seen very many golf clubs. You might hit up some uh, thrift stores or pawn shops after this, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe people will start bringing stuff out. Yeah, we're here much earlier than usual. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this den caddy. That thing is awesome. War Eagle, oh, it's an Auburn oh, yeah. one. It's an old school yeah. Auburn logo, too. I didn't it, okay. Auburn's one of the cooler college campuses we've ever been to, too. Mm -hmm. How much is this? $10. We can do that. Thank you. Anything else for today? You got any more golf clubs? Okay, cool. But check with me next week. Alright, thank you. She had no golf clubs this week, but check this out. A Auburn War Eagle Den Caddy. Yeah. These things are awesome. We yeah. had one of those in forever. Yeah, we had we were on a hot streak uh -huh. with these for a long time. And some of these can go for like crazy amounts of money. We got like a Strixon one that goes for over a hundred. Mm -hmm. Some of the Scotty Cameron ones go for like six or seven hundred dollars. Well, they just don't make that many. They yeah. just use them at like the range of golf it's, courses. It's always funny when people are like, yeah, use that as my trash bin. It's like, <laughs> no. I think that might be it for the uh, flea market today. Yeah. We'll let you know if we find anything else. Well, it's a cool PBR shirt. I think it's like a single stitch vintage. Uh, 
yeah, interesting if, find. Yeah, if we find anything else, we'll let you know. If not, we'll meet you at a thrift store or a pawn shop or something. Yeah. All right, looks like we got a ton of clubs in here. As usual, we'll go through and see if we have anything uh, cool worth picking up. But uh, we got some uh, Wilson Black Heathers. And we got an old 52 degree uh, ripstop wedge. We've uh, found the 60s and the 64s of this. We'll have a uh, full uh, go to the par three course and have a uh, ripstop challenge one day. That's kind of cool. What else do we got over there? It's like an Adams Faldo driver, some uh, Ping Zing knockoffs, or maybe Ping I2 knockoffs. What are those called? The Greyhawks. Oh, they got the lofts on there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. You got anything pure back there? Spin back here too. Oh, pure spin. Oh, it's got the uh, fat shaft pure spin one oh, too. Yeah. That's kind of cool. We got a. Uh, oh, the grips all messed up on that. We'll still get it though oh, for yeah. the. Uh, we'll have a uh, rip stop versus a uh, pure spin uh, challenge. <laughs> oh, we got some uh, golf ball. Whoa, look at these. The tour accuracy DDs. There's uh, like the uh, David Duval uh, golf balls. Oh, that's cool. These are like one of their first golf balls. That is so cool. Low on spin, long on distance, accuracy, and consistency. What more could Those you are need? cool. If they're in there, we're definitely uh, getting that. They are still in the uh, <laughs> still in the uh, little cool. sleeve there. Oh, we got some uh, Top Flight XL 2000s. Those were super popular when I was actually uh, Rick Shields uh, when he did his thrifting video. These are the uh, golf balls uh -huh. that he played. Still in the plastic. But a new packaging, 54% less waste than previous packaging. There you go. Eco friendly before it was uh, cool to be eco. Oh, look at these. We got some uh, Callaway HX Pearls. These are like the uh, uh, ladies' uh, Callaway oh, nice. golf balls. Are they still in there? Yeah. What in the world? <laughs> These have just been sitting. They had to the have been Wilson Sonic. Wilson too. Sonic. You know, if you guys have ever tried that, we're definitely going to uh, pick up the uh, Top Flight XL2. That we'll have like an old school challenge. Yeah. The uh, Tour Accuracy DDs. I don't know if I would play those though. Those are probably super hard to find. Yeah. And then uh, Ashley got herself some Callaway HX Pearls. You don't find a lot of ladies' golf balls. Yeah, ladies' golf balls are kind of hard to find, especially. Mm -hmm. 15 year old ones, new in packaging. <laughs> Not really sure what the difference is, but <laughs> yeah. try. we'll uh, willing to try. Those are like some uh, Ping Karsten uh, knockoffs, but got some good stuff. Weird <laughs> stuff, but some good stuff. <laughs> Cobra bag is cool too. Uh -huh. Squirrel. All right, let's take a look at what we've got. We got a Wilson Fat Shaft over here. We got some, those almost look like the uh, uh, Browning, like super uh, low profile irons right yeah. there. How do you, if you like get in the rough, Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's almost like a, the size of the golf ball. Yeah, it's like a chipper. We got some Ping I2 orange dots over here, three and four iron. I think this is a uh, tailor made railer, but it is uh, missing the grip. Probably pick up those uh, two Ping I2s. Oh, look at this, Ash. I think it's a uh, Ping staff bag. That thing is sick. Oh, Only nice. $9.99. That is super cool. Old school Ping uh, staff bag right there. Some old school Ping Yeah, bags. there we go. Boom. Ready to go. <laughs> Yeah, orange dot, orange labels. Only uh, today was uh, half off day at Goodwill. Yeah. Those are really cool. We'll let you know if we find anything else, but that is definitely an awesome find. That <laughs> bag is so sick. Super cool. There you go. Looks good on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, still can't get over this uh, big staff bag. $10. Yeah. Found some good stuff today. We got the Ping I2 irons. We got the Nike driver, the Auburn bag. Interesting things. Interesting stuff to say the least, but uh, I think we're gonna hit up a few pawn shops. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of good luck last time. Yeah, last time we went to the pawn shops, we had a ton of luck, but still can't get over how cool that uh, <laughs> Ping bag is, but we'll uh, meet you at the uh, pawn shops. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Are you guys recording? Yeah, we have a little YouTube channel. We go to pawn shops and buy like golf. All right, folks. Well, that was probably one of the more bizarre pawn shop uh, deals that we yeah, had going on. We've had some pretty bizarre negotiations. Yeah, if you guys have watched the channel, you know the, <laughs> that's par for the course. Bizarre uh, pawn shop negotiations. But that was super awkward. Mm -hmm. We like walked in there. They said hello. The guy actually opened the door for yeah. us when we uh, walked in there, saw that we were filming. And then as soon as we got over to the golf clubs, the manager lady came out and she was like all freaked out. She's like, you can't film in here. And then as soon as we turned off the camera, it got even weirder. Mm -hmm. She's like, you're not allowed to film in pawn shops, blah, blah, blah. It was just super awkward. They basically tried to kick us out. But as yeah. you guys can see, we were not going to leave no. unless we got those clubs. It was a bizarre deal. Mm -hmm. Nothing was, was priced. Didn't yeah, sense nothing to was me. priced. She looked up every single club and then she like got halfway through and I was like, I just made an offer. Yeah. I wish we got all of that on camera. It was kind of uh, crazy. But we're at the golf course. We're going to try everything out. We'll show you all the clubs that we got. But we ended up spending $250. So that was why it was the last stop for us. Yes. We blew our budget there. But as you guys could see, we probably got a little clip of inside the uh, pawn shop some definite awesome finds and definitely a uh, good Wasn't deal. Expecting that. Yeah, and it's like some of the stuff is new in plastic, yeah. which is absolutely crazy. But we're at a new course today. We're going to play a little alternate shot. The first hole here is about 240 yards. Hidden Water. Lakes. Hidden lakes. Yeah, I forgot about it. Yeah. Uh, we're hidden. Yeah. 
I don't know, there was a joke there, but I missed it. <laughs> but uh, 240 yards, Ashley's gonna go with the driver that we got out of the uh, set. Not the only Nike driver that we got this today. No. Because we uh, got the one at the flea market, but we, we got a- We've been finding uh, a lot of them lately. Yeah, Nike uh, Mock Speed XQ, SQ Mock Speed. Yes, SQ Mock Speed, correct. One of, the, one of those things, but 240 yards, water to the right. Let's see if we can't put one in the fairway and then uh, go with some Something. of the other bizarre things that we found in that bag. That was just so weird. Yeah. And she kept on asking for my ID. I was like, I don't want to give you my ID, then I can't leave. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, 240 yards, let's see what we can do. <laughs> Perfect cut. <laughs> nice shot. I like this club. <laughs> <laughs> it's going in Ashley's bag. Well, I definitely like that club. And I think we forgot to mention that club alone goes for $100. So we're already off to a great start with the deal. Yeah, great start with the shot and with the deal. But we yep. got about 115 yards left. And I'm not sure what I'm going to hit. We'll I'll let, let you, you know. I'll let you know. <laughs> John's got a fan group. <laughs> 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 I don't think you can see him on camera, but we got <laughs> John's got a fan group. <laughs> we got a fan group. We got both of us. <laughs> but I went with the uh, ripstop wedge, 52 degrees from 110 yards, and disappointingly, though, did not spin that much. No, I think the wind threw it. Yeah, the wind threw it off a little bit, but. <laughs> oh, new cars, new people. <laughs> Same results. <laughs> Bad wedge shots. <laughs> well, after all of that and all the clubs we bought, I realized we didn't have a putter. So we are going with the putter that we used in our 80,000 subscriber special, all the PXG stuff. So mm -hmm. see if we can't keep the uh, good grooves or good vibes going. We made a ton of putts, but yes. Ashley's up first with the putter. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I guess I need that. No. Yeah, switch. Switch. <laughs> there we go. Oh, world's greatest putter. That is a good putt. It looks like they uh, just top dressed the yeah, green, but especially since we've never played her before. Yeah, that was a really hole. good putt. All right, I think even I can make that. I, then we should be able to uh, hit some irons on the uh, next hole. <laughs> you can make it just so people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The guy watching us doesn't think we're cheating. Boom. I know that's why I'm like you guys. Come on. <laughs> All right, even par through one. John's getting the yardage over there. What do you got? Uh, One fifty. One fifty. What do you want? Eight irons. Okay, we're definitely going with the Mizuno because the other ones are in plastic and yeah, I'm not taking those out of plastic. <laughs> Mizuno MP64s, this is a full set. Well, not a full set, it is four and all the way down to the eight iron. Yeah. Missing the uh, nine in the pitching wedge, but if you're gonna play these, you probably would do a, a little combo set anyways mm -hmm. with the uh, blades of this. I forget what blade model came out at the exact same time as this, but dynamic old S300s, 150 yards. Par three. Par three should be good. Cool. Is this video good? <laughs> Comment below. Comment below. <laughs> Uh huh. Oh, the tea's over here. It hit me. <laughs> Caution. <laughs> Flying objects. We are not responsible. <laughs> well, that was a little bit more downwind than I thought, but it shouldn't be a problem for the world's greatest putter. We got about 35 feet. If we had the nine iron, it would have been perfect. But <laughs> yeah. Downhill, breaking a little bit to the right. Yeah. Cool. I thought it was going to break a little bit more too, but uh, there's a knee knocker for me. <laughs> Sorry. And you'll see my knee shaking. <laughs> Hence why I said knee knocker. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to knock knees about. That sounded weird. Nothing to knock. Knocking boots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next hole is a uh, par four. I think, you, yeah, it's your tee shot again. You want to go with the other Nike? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, <laughs> forgot to warn you about the earplugs. <laughs> sit, sit. Sit, 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 sit. Whoa. Well, hopefully that didn't go in the water. Hopefully. So I forgot to warn you about earplugs on that driver. It's very loud, but I didn't hit it very well. And it actually went pretty straight, but hopefully it didn't go straight in the water. So yeah, that would be less than ideal. No. But but I think there's another ridge over there, so yeah, we should be okay. We should be okay. We'll let you know soon we get up there. All right, we stayed short of the water. Not the best of lies, though. We got about 170 yards. I'm going to go with that Mizuno 8 iron again from the uh, last hole. I'm going to try and convince Ashley to, actually, probably not, no. to uh, unwrap those irons. We got to show you all of them. We're just trying to play because there's a group behind us. But mm -hmm. let's see what we can do here. 170 yards, downwind, elevated green. Bad lie. <laughs> you did hit that driver good, though. Yeah, but bad luck. Bad, bad luck. Bad. Yeah. Go. 
I think we're way short. The oh, wind died really? down right yeah, when I did. hit it. All right, we came up a little bit short there. We're going to go with the hybrid to get it rolling over the uh, fringe there. We got two of these, the Adams Super LS Idea VST XTD. Like they combined all of their names. Yeah, they just throw in the speed line. You got every single Adams Club ever made. But it's got the Kurokage shaft. We got two of these. Like I said, we got the 22 degree and the 17 degree which I'm excited to uh, hit because I have one of those, but it's in like a ladies flex. I mm -hmm. still hit it really good, but imagine with like an actual good. Hit it even better. Hopefully, or I just need to play ladies flex chefs, <laughs> but Ashley's going with a little bumping around with the hybrid. Cool. Hopefully we can get it up and down for par. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> we gotta practice that shot a little bit more. You did that perfectly. Yeah, it got a little zippy over the other side, but yeah. that wasn't bad. Broke just at the end. That's yeah. definitely a tap in from there though. All right, one more hole and we'll show you all the clubs. Yep. Well, 10 minutes later, we finally found the back tee boxes. It's 205 yards and I'm glad John's hitting this because there's water everywhere, but he's hitting the hybrid that I just hit. Oh, be the right club. It's looking good. Whoa. Whoa, where did that go? That way over or way short? Uh, I don't know. I lost it. Yeah, well, we'll report back. Well, I don't think we're in the water, though. Yeah, unless there's water behind it. <laughs> oh, no. All right, I think we might be in somebody's backyard. That thing just kept on carrying. We turned back into the wind, so I thought it was going to uh, hold the ball up a little bit more, but it did not. We're going to go and try and get that one up and down, but let's take a look at all the clubs before we do that. Mm -hmm. We got a uh, basically a full set of these uh, Nike Mock Speeds. We got the Driver 3 Wood 3 Hybrid, and then like we were saying, the irons are all new in plastic, That's which, crazy, yeah, but... to find like, those are probably 10 years old. At least, Nike yeah. clubs, new in plastic at a pawn shop. It was, like I said, it was super bizarre, that whole uh, circumstance. Mm -hmm. And then we got a uh, Ping G10 3 iron. We got a Ping Gorge wedge, which I'm about to use. <laughs> and then we've got the uh, Adams hybrids, like I said. And then we also got this uh, Mizuno JPX825 3 wood that is absolutely stunning. Yeah. I have not hit very many of the uh, Mizuno uh, fairway woods lately. And I'm regretting that because that thing looks super <laughs> yes, stunning. It does. But let's go see if we can't uh, get this up and down. Also, we got a, a Nike bag that the lady kept on trying to tell me was worth $250 on its own, but it's like falling apart. Yeah. Like I said, a bizarre uh, uh, pawn shop negotiation for sure, but let's go see if we can't get this up and down or chip in and shoot even par. There you go. I don't know. It's your shot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, change of plans. I convinced John to actually hit this shot because he's much better with the wedge and I'm much better with the putter. But I'm going to stand a safe distance away and uh, see what he can do. You're all good. You can't even see him back there. Whoo, that's stressful. <laughs> that was good from where you were. <laughs> all right, you got to make the putt. Yup. Oh, lip out. You're still the world's greatest butter, but hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Let us know if that was one of the weirder. I don't. We didn't really get to film that much of it because we got kicked out. No. Now that I think about it, but we tried. Overall, a fun day. Hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe, and, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.